All right, guys, if you just updated the BIOS on your Gigabyte motherboard and now you can't boot into Windows, I can help you. All right, so if you just updated your BIOS for the Gigabyte motherboards and your computer's not booting up, well, it's probably because, you know, there's no boot devices for them. So what you're going to do is uh, go up here to Advance. And then go over here to boot. And then you're going to, uh, I don't think you have to scroll down, but I do. Uh, we're going to scroll down. Right here, your storage boot option control. Make sure that's legacy. All right. And then your CSM support. That is going to be disabled. You need to enable that. Okay, and then you're going to go ahead, save it, exit it. Then you're going to need to jump back into BIOS because your computer is still not going to read. Unless you only have one boot device. I have a couple, so if you have a couple, keep watching. And then you'll go to boot, and then you'll see your devices right here. You'll click on one. Now, I know for a fact that my Windows is on the green one, and my games and stuff are on the blue one. And then this is just a regular uh, disk drive. Uh, so, of course, I want green to be number one. And then after it looks just like that, you know, boot option one, green, or in your case, you know, whichever one has got your windows installed on it. And then you just save and save and exit. That's it. It'll boot straight up. There you go. All right. If I helped you through a tough time at all, hit that sub button, that like button. It really helps me fight through the algorithm. Appreciate it.